Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste the Lockpreneur and welcome back to another episode of the Locktober series. Listen, listen, listen. I know I have been MIA. I know I am so sorry. Your girl has been traveling. I just came back from the beautiful Barcelona, Spain, but I know y'all don't care about that. I know I haven't been here. But listen, I'm here now and I'm ready to record these videos back to back to back. So these next upcoming videos, if you see the same setting, if you see this outfit or different variations of this outfit, just know your girl, this is all happening in the same day, okay? Just know it's all happening on the same day. But that's not what's important. What's important is this information that I'm going to give you so that you all can implement it and use it for this season of Black Friday, next year, the year after, whenever, whenever, um, because... It's always relevant. You're always going to need it. And it's always going to be helpful. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the apps that you should have. If you do not already have them. And some of them, they're not highly, um, they're not highly promoted. So a few of these apps you may not have heard of, which I'm really excited to share with you guys. So definitely stay till the end because the best app, the last app that I'm super excited about is the last one I'm going to share with you guys. So stay till the end. But um, yeah, different apps that you should be using. These apps are definitely all in reference to Shopify. If you do not have a Shopify store and you sell a physical product, you need to get on Shopify. Wix is great. Wix has its pros and you know, Wix does what Wix does. And Squarespace, I bet it's awesome. And Google, you know, they have their pros as well. But Shopify is where you need to be if you have a physical product product whether that's shirts whether that's candles whether that's perfume whether that's um hairspray uh shampoo conditioner wigs it doesn't matter if you have a physical product that you can touch that you have to ship you need to be on shopify all of your biggest brands that you love trust and know have been rocking with for years majority of them are on shopify so if they're on shopify we also need to be on shopify okay so enough with that i hope i made my point i hope you've you're convinced if you're not already on Shopify that you need to get on Shopify. But let's go ahead and get into these apps, you guys. So a lot of these apps that I'm going to mention, they are free. Um, and that's really big because especially when you're starting out, like you already have to pay for your Shopify web hosting platform, right? And so to have to pay for this app and that app and this subscription and that subscription, it really gets expensive. So a lot of these apps that I'm mentioning, they're either free or they have a free plan that um, you can get on that's going to be super important and super helpful because these apps are going to make you money so let's get into it you guys the first app that i'm going to mention in this video is frequently bought together the frequently bought together app if you do not have this you need to get it what happens is some your per, your customer is going to be on your website they click on a picture that they're interested in on a product that they're interested in and they're like oh, okay nice and then when they keep scrolling they'll see a group below and it'll have one product, it'll have a different product, and it'll have a different product. And it's just really nice to see other products that are similar to that one that they may be interested in, which will then allow them to possibly purchase more. So maybe they came to your website for this one product, but because you have the Frequently Bought Together app, they'll be like, oh snap, I came for this one, but you know what, actually I do need this. Oh, actually I do, do need this. And so this is perfect if you have like a hair care um, business right so maybe they click on your shampoo and maybe you're frequently bought together app it has that shampoo but then it also has a conditioner but then it also has a serum and so it's like a whole bundle and it's like you know what I came for this but I really need all of these boom bop bam check out so the frequently bought together app is really perfect for that because it'll remind the person or let the person know that you have these other options available that maybe they didn't know about maybe they didn't think about but now they do and lead them right to the checkout just like that. So that's the first app I definitely want you all to have frequently bought together, okay? The second app is the Judge Me. It's called Judge Me Product Review. This is so necessary for all businesses. You have to have testimonials. People, people, I say it all the time, people are sheep. People are sheep. If they see someone else bought your product, if they see multiple people have bought their product and multiple people have said great things about your product, they're going to be more likely to want to buy it too. So having your judge me reviews, people can leave stars. I believe people can even post pictures on their review that you can um, accept. And 
your customers or potential customers can look at the review and see all the great things that people are saying because I don't know about y'all every time I go on Amazon I don't care what I'm getting when I go on Amazon I look at the picture I look at the product description but I go to those reviews I want to know what people are saying how they're feeling about it what's the pros what's the cons how many five stars how many like i want to know all of that and it's the same for our business people want to know they're spending their hard-earned money on your product they want to see some good reviews they want to see reviews period you know what i'm saying so definitely add that reviews app again it's called judge me on shopify to your website okay so next is Klarna, Klarna payments, very similar to Afterpay, very similar to Sezzle. Those are also good ones that you can consider getting onto your app or your store. But basically it's just, you know, some people like to pay in segments. They don't want to pay everything all up front. Maybe they don't have it. Maybe they just like to budget out their things that way. Who knows? But giving them that option people like options i love options give me options what what more what else what else what can i do right give people options you don't have to pay it all up front we have Klarna available we have sezzle after pay whatever you want if you want just one if you want all three whatever it is um give them that option to pay in increments to pay in segments um the way it works is that you will get all of your money up front if your customer decides that they can't pay or they don't want to pay or whatever the case that, that, that happens, they have to deal with Klarna or Sezzle or Afterpay um, with that whole situation. That, that goes with them. But you, you get your money, okay? So don't worry about that if you're scared or hesitant. Definitely still add Klarna, Sezzle, Afterpay, whatever you want to your website because it's really great. It allows people to, instead of paying that full amount, they can pay they can break it up into like four segments, you guys. So that's really awesome. Um, next, you guys. Oh, my goodness. This was such a great app for me. It still continues to be one. It's called Reconvert, Upsell, and Cross-Sell. Sorry, I keep looking to the side. My notes are over here, you guys. So, but it's called Reconvert, Reconvert Upsell, and Cross-Sell. What happens? So, your customer, they see your product add it to the cart they check out and then this app pops up on the screen and it's like oh listen for the next 10 minutes if you buy um this product or this product whatever product you'll get 20 percent off you'll get 30 percent off so it's like right after they make a purchase y'all this app is telling you come come make another purchase and listen make another purchase and you can get a discount on it make another purchase and you don't have to pay, pay full price like it's so uh, it's good it's good this app when i first found out about it i was like oh and then when i saw it was doing what it was supposed to do i was like oh that app y'all it was good because again it's like it's kind of like a fomo like fear of missing out because they put a time limit like 10 minutes you have 10 minutes if you want to get this for 20 percent off right now only for the next 10 minutes that's all you got that is all you got. Sorry, guys. My phone just cut off on me. But basically, yes, it's um, get it now. You only have this 10 minutes. And once this 10 minutes, is, once this 10 minutes is up, that's it. That's over. It won't come back again, right? So it's really awesome. And it only happens when a person makes a purchase. So then that encourages them to go ahead and make another purchase. You just made this one. You already got your wallet out. Your information is already saved. Just, you know, it just makes it easier. Because once somebody purchases purchases from you one time it makes it a lot easier that they'll purchase from you a second time and they already just made that purchase so like just, just go ahead and make another one make another one make another one you already you already right here you know make it easy for yourself you know what i'm saying so yes that's definitely the next app the re reconvert upsell and cross sale get that on your shopify store all right the next one is digital downloads i don't need to go into this one too much if you sell any type of digital products which honestly i think all of you should even if you don't sell one if you have a freebie or something you need a digital the digital downloads app so you can upload it to the digital download section and then they can um go ahead and go through that process and get the download to their email address so even if you're not selling still if you have like a free how to do this free how to do that just to get people on your email list because that's super important then um, you definitely want to get the digital downloads app as well, okay? And then nextly, you guys, Yachtspo. It's called Yachtspo Loyalty and Rewards. 
Yacht Pole Loyalty and Rewards. I use this a little bit. I'm still trying to get into it, but it's basically for like affiliates. If you have brand ambassadors or, um, you know, your customers, if you want them to create content for you, um, if you want them to be a brand ambassador, this is a great app. It allows, you know, them to make money if their followers or their people use their code to buy your product and it helps you to make money as well. So this is just another great um a great app to have if you're looking for brand ambassadors they'll have their own code um, you can set up you know a little application to make sure that they're a good fit for your brand and then um, yeah they'll be able to make money from the purchases that they get using their code for your store so that's another great app to use and the last one that I was super excited to share with you guys is called booster SEO and image optimizer okay you guys when i first heard about this app i was like interesting right seo so the great thing about this is that it literally does all of your search engine optimization stuff for you so all of that coding or all of that like that whole lot of technical information that you need to have to have a good seo and to make sure that your store shows up on google and to make sure that your show your store shows up just like when you search for your store online, y'all, when I first started this, the amount of traffic, of sales, of everything that I got, I'm not going to lie, I did, when I first started it, I did use the paid option and it was great. It was great, it was great, it was great. And then um, a few months ago, or maybe even weeks ago, I took it off and now I'm on the free version and it's still doing very well. I had a lot of broken links that they fixed. I had a lot of like just problems that the SEO, this app, the Booster SEO and Image Optimizer fixed, fixed. And it was great and I knew that it was working because you know when you get a purchase, you can see where they found you from and it would literally tell me like, google search or it would literally say and there's i was like who is searching for this and so it just it made sense that made sense excuse me that this app was doing what it was supposed to be doing because prior to that mm -mm, it was all instagram every time i would get an order it was instagram it was facebook it was social media it was not google so definitely this seo if you're having trouble with search engine optimization really getting your products on google whether it's the the web search whether it's the images portion wherever it is definitely check out seo again it is they do have a paid version but they do also have a free version as well so you guys i hope this video was super duper helpful and um, please let me know your thoughts again i'm so sorry for being in my yeah you guys but i'm back this is the first video y'all i'm about to record another one right after this so if you see me without a scarf or without a jacket listen it's the same day okay it's the same day i'm just trying to trying to make things a little bit interesting trying to make things a little different so you don't have to see me in the same outfit for <laughs> for like eight whole videos okay but you guys like i said i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching happy October. and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe Follow me on Instagram at CelestaLockpreneur underscore and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.